Boy, have I got some magic ideas for a few TikTok accounts for you. Like seriously, golden ideas that you could potentially scale to 10 million followers plus. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna show you some examples in today's video. I'm always having these crazy ideas for TikTok accounts that just pop into my head that I think have incredibly viral potential on the platform, but I'm just so darn knee deep in too many projects at the moment that I don't have the time to build out these myself. So I wanted in the meantime to share these ideas with you. I give you the green light to take these ideas, run with them. Let me know if you do. We'll be saving the best idea for last. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first idea for a viral account is to create an iSpy slash search and find account. When I was younger, I used to be a huge fan of those I Spy rhyme puzzle books where there would be some gorgeous themed set on the pages before you and you would have to find 10 different objects on those pages. Kind of like Where's Waldo? In fact, there's an idea for a TikTok account. I just thought of that right now in the moment. It would have to be done right, very highly produced, vivid, colorful, and a very, very clear call to action in the first second of the video. Back to the original idea of the I Spy themed account, my idea was for you to create some sort of themed video, whether it was a set that had a warehouse theme or Legos or maybe TikTok influencers, heck, who knows? And you take your device, you pan over for 10 to 15 seconds. It has to be a very short video because you're banking on these videos doing well based on watch time, people coming back to try to look at the first few frames that are now gone by the end of the video. But over the entire video, there would be a voiceover, maybe a rhyme or text bubbles that bullet point five different objects that you have to find, a penny, a Zach King Polaroid or a TikTok logo somewhere in the entire set. Again, kind of like the Where's Waldo idea, this could not be subpartly done. You would have to be someone who is very creative, who would commit to putting quality effort into each and every one of these uploads, making them very unique, detailed, and different than the previous. The next viral account idea is to start a riddle slashed code themed profile. An idea that I've yet to see successfully executed on TikTok, at least as a standalone profile, is an account that tries to engage the audience collectively in an effort to solve some kind of a mystery. I'm a huge fan of riddles and codes myself, hence why I wrote this idea down. And although that certainly doesn't appeal to everyone, it is a bit of a niche audience. If all you did was post intriguing riddles or daily rebus puzzles, your watch time would be through the roof. And I say that because I've seen this on TikTok from random isolated videos that people post in this code themed category. Again, there's not an isolated go-to leading profile that's built around this idea, hence why I'm giving the idea and passing the baton to any one of you. Now, similar to the previous idea, these videos would have to be very, very short, 10 to 15 seconds. You probably wouldn't want to go over 20 or even 25, because if you make the video too long, people have to constantly repeatedly wade through the first half of the video to get all the details once again, and to actually get to the part that boggles their minds. And that's going to turn off a lot of people. You could even take the same approach that newspapers often do with crossword puzzle solutions, where tomorrow's video is going to reveal the answer to the previous. And that would give viewers a great incentive to stick around. You can also do something clever where maybe each Thursday, a video would have a a secret code or a revealed letter and you would have to combine that with previous videos to solve some kind of a master code and that would be such a great way to thread attention into other videos really the possibilities are quite endless and like i said in the intro this is totally an idea i would jump on if i wasn't otherwise occupied speaking of being occupied the next idea is to build an occupational focused account if you've been recently racking your brain for unique ways to leverage tiktok that are creative and different from what the masses are doing on the platform maybe the real solution is not to start with a blank slate, but rather to film what you already do, what you already do at work. For example, accounts like Dylan LeMay or Cameron from Walmart or Starbucks with M are all great examples of creators who've built a massive fan base for themselves just by filming themselves at their jobs and chronicling their customer experiences. Videos like the craziest customer experience or the most outlandish order requests at a restaurant you work at. There's so many different angles that you can take. You could even do what Malad Merge is doing on TikTok, the Subway sandwich artist who picks out comments from the comment section and makes little stories about them related to his job. Way before TikTok was even around, my brother and I used to do a lot of lawn care and pressure washing, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, those jobs were pretty boring and mundane, but yet you have people like Got That Pressure or the pool guy on TikTok who are pulling in millions of views simply showcasing those kinds of yard projects that they work on. Whatever your occupation is, if you're allowed to film, think about ways that you can make those videos as passive and as documentary as possible with story elements. No job is too boring to share. We all have 
highlights about what we do, whether good or bad. In fact, there are a lot of people who would prefer you share the nitty gritty details about what you do as an Uber driver, a waste management worker, a postman, an electrician, a plumber, whether they're simply interested in those behind the scenes of those careers or they're just a fan of that line of work. So this vein of occupational focused accounts on TikTok still has so much potential on the platform. The next viral account idea is to create an interview themed account. Now, I tell you, in another life, I would absolutely kill to be Sean Evans from Hot Ones, interviewing the most popular people on the planet while eating your heart out with some of the hottest chicken wings in existence. I tell you, I have yet to see someone really translate a similar idea over to TikTok, where you're asking people questions and you're trying to gamify that process in some way. Your account is the place where people want to be. Now, granted, you'll have to work your way up with smaller and smaller guests, but you'll be surprised how quickly you can leverage the guests you've already had. Kayla Presley on TikTok is a great example of someone who's done just that. Hilarious interviews, great questions with bigger and bigger guests each time. Now, in order for an idea like this to do well, you're going to need a theme for the interview to be very memorable. Hot Ones is a great example because it has such a distinct core that the entire interview is built around. Hot wings, hotter questions, and the entire chicken wing gauntlet that escalates in how hot each wing is provides great trajectory for the video. What is the tap out point for each guest? How long are they going to last? If I created an interview titled Java with Joe, Coffee with Joe, where we chatted for a few minutes over Zoom, drank coffee, and I asked you about your biggest inspirations in life, that idea is decent. I'm going to give it a C plus. It doesn't necessarily have that viral punch factor that I'm looking for versus something where maybe you're doing a wall squat. The guest is as well. And that's the timer of the video. And I'm throwing loaded questions your way. That's a better seat of memorability. How long can each guest last? Will they beat the previous guest from last week? It creates good trajectory for the video. Really, there's so much potential with this interview themed idea. You just have to find a way to package it uniquely and create escalation as the video progresses. The next viral account idea on our list is to create a mission-based account. One of my favorite profiles to date on TikTok that I think was very masterfully executed was the Trade Me Project. The Demi, the creator behind this account, basically documented her trading a bobby pin all the way up for an entire house. Each video was an update in that series, in that mission. I've seen people pull off similar ideas on TikTok, biking across the entire country, each video being an update in that journey, living on a dollar a day, or Isaiah Photo, who traded a grain of sand for a Tesla. Now, these accounts on TikTok are sort of far and few between. They're very rare to find simply because the concept they're built around, as you might imagine, is not an easy one. Really, the more complex and challenging the idea is, the mission, the more viral potential the account has. I mean, just look at any Mr. Beast video as a proof of concept. But this documentary approach of you updating people on some sort of an end goal you're working towards is such a powerful way to engage an audience long term, especially as you work to build out your personality under the guise of this mission that everyone's kind of along for the ride for. The next viral account idea is to create a daily report slash recap account. This is an extremely underrated idea on TikTok. Not too many people pull the trigger on this concept. If you're passionate about a particular topic, whether it's football, financial advice, YouTube politics, heck, what Mr. Beast is up to, having an account or creating one that's kind of the be all end all place to find the latest and greatest news around whatever you report on is one of the easiest ways to build up a loyal and diehard fan base. I've seen creators do this with baseball, NFT news, eBay auctions, everything that went on with horse racing for this particular week. Doesn't have to be daily uploads. They can also be end of the week recaps as well. There's an account on TikTok, Flight House, the biggest media account on the platform. They started this way, just reporting on what some of the biggest TikTok stars and former musically influencers were up to. There's another company, Morning Brew, they also have a TikTok account and they really prove that people want bite-sized recaps of information without having to wade through all the different news channels out there. You don't even have to be strictly involved as a personality, even if you wanted to rank or find some way to statistically graph out the top trending TikTok sounds of the week or who gained the most subscribers on YouTube. There are lots of little sub niches like this that I think you can easily dominate once you pinpoint a good idea that you know people want to keep tabs on and find a way to efficiently 
efficiently gather that information and then share it on TikTok. The final idea I want to share with you for a viral account is to start a spot the difference account on TikTok. One of the most creative account ideas I've ever seen on TikTok was actually an idea back from 2021 with the account Daily Effects, where the guy who ran this account would take the same video and edit a new effect into it each and every day. And he did this for an entire year. Now, I think we can take inspiration from this idea. I don't think you have to full on commit to an entire year long upload schedule, but at the same time, the idea of making slight alterations or changes to a previous video has a lot of power on TikTok, whether it's three changes that are different from yesterday's upload that you have to find and whoever comments is randomly entered to win a prize. You could even do this with a video or images on TikTok as well, where you put them side by side right next to each other, kind of like a duet and people have to pinpoint the differences. I saw a video on TikTok a few weeks ago that was basically the same concept, a compare and contrast, and had over 3.5 million likes on the video. I don't know what the view was, but you can only imagine it's pretty high. Now, as with some of the previous ideas we talked about earlier, I would highly, highly stress, in fact, I would aggressively suggest that you are original in whatever images or videos that you're sharing on TikTok. Don't just download something from Google Images and put it side by side, build it around your personality, because if what you create or upload can be easily replicated by others, you're just gonna end up being another fish in the pond and it's gonna be very difficult to have a profitable and long-term successful account later on down the road. So that being said, that pretty much concludes our list here. I know this was not a standard tutorial video, but none of these ideas really do any good locked up inside my head. So hopefully you can take some inspiration and action based on what we discussed today. Thank you guys as always so much for watching and we'll catch you around next time. Cheers.